want to know what are some of the things we do on Rosh Hashanah. Can I see like a hands up or a thumbs up? Somebody who, who knows something. What's up, something, something we do on Rosh Hashanah? Rachel, anybody there? Who can, uh... Yeah, Chana. I'm going to unmute you. Chana Brecken. Hello. Um, what I, I know about Rosh Hashanah is that we, we did apples into honey. That is right. We do dip apples in honey. I love apples and honey because I actually have honey for lunch with peanut butter on a regular basis, but because I love honey and it is so sweet. And we dip apples dipped in honey because we want to have a sweet new year, right? You guys know the song. Dip the apple in the honey. Make a bracha loud and clear. Lishana tova umituka. Have a happy, sweet new year. That's right, we dipped apples in honey. Let me see one thumb. Can you see, let me see a thumbs up. We can do a thumbs up. Dip apples in the honey, awesome. What else do we do on Rosh Hashanah? Any other, let me see some other hands. What do we do on Rosh Hashanah? Yes, Rachel, any, anybody else? Uh, Ellie Berger, are you able to unmute? Um, we we uh, blow the chauffeur. That is right. We do blow the shofar. We blow the shofar. The shofar is kind of like an alarm clock. You guys have, some of you have alarm clocks? I've got one too. Well, the shofar is kind of like, like an alarm clock. We're sleeping, doing our thing. Do, do, do. And goes, eh, 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 right? And we're, do. It's to tell you, wake up and start doing lots and lots of mitzvot. That's right. Because we want to have a sweet new year. And we want to start off our year with lots and lots of mitzvot. So we dip the apple in the honey. We blow shofar. On your average year, we'd also go to shul. This year, it gets a little tricky with that. And we also go to do tashlech. You ever go do tashlech? Let me see a thumbs up if, you do, if you've done tashlech. Thumbs up. Yeah, because we go there to do tashlech. And sometimes we'll throw bread in the water, whatever it is. But the main idea is we want to start off our year with only mitzvot. So we take all the bad stuff we have, feed that to the fish. They can have the bad stuff. We'll have the mitzvot and get a great new year, right? So dip the apple in the honey, go to shul. Uh, this year it's gonna be a little tricky with that, right? But we definitely wanna hear the shofar. And do you know it's actually a birthday? Today was the 25th day of the Omer, of Omer, 25th day of Elul. And that was the first day of creation. Well, the last day of creation, when the people were created, that is on Rosh Hashanah. So it's the birthday of the world. We'll have to skip the cake for this year, but the birthday of the world on Rosh Hashanah. And yeah, well, you know what? I think it's just about time to start getting down to business. I've got all my stuff. Well, you may see my table here. I kind of want to show my table here. We've got some different chauffeurs and stuff. You see, because on Rosh Hashanah, we blow the chauffeur, as you mentioned. But does anybody know where does a chauffeur come from? Let me see a, let me see a hands up, thumbs up. Somebody can tell me where a chauffeur comes from. Rachel, any ideas there? Anybody help us out? Uh, Mayor Weiss, can you unmute yourself? There you go. All right. Okay. Hello. So a uh, chauffeur comes from a ram's ear. That's a sh chauffeur comes from a ram. That's right, from the ram's horn. Very good. Well, does anybody horn. know where else can a chauffeur come from? It can come from a ram. Very good. Where else can a chauffeur come from? Any ideas? Anyone wants to raise their hands and I could call on them if they have any ideas. Um, well, Bertie Sternman, do you see? Can you unmute yourself? Is that Esther? Can you say that again? We give tzedakah. We give tzedakah before Rosh Hashanah. That's right. Before we light the before we uh, light the candles before Rosh Hashanah. That is very right. You see, we want to do the mitzvot, and especially when we, before giving tzedakah before we light candles before. Shabbos, and especially before Rosh Hashanah, is a really, really special thing. But you know, chauffeurs can actually come from almost any animal that's kosher. Now, of course, you know, for, a for an animal to be kosher, it got to chew its cud and have split hooves. Do you know what a split hoof is? Split hoof is when the, when the foot of the, of the animal is split. Here, I've got a split hoof. This one's from a cow. You see that? See how it's totally split? That's called the split hoof. Mm -hmm. This is from a cow. And for an animal to be kosher, it's got to have a split hoof and also chew its cud. Let's take a look at, ooh, check this one out here. This one actually 
is not split. You see how this one is just one thing? Like when you have a horseshoe it goes around, that's one piece that's not split. This is from a not kosher animal. Now, if you've got a kosher animal, there's many that are kosher, but we can't use them for a chauffeur. Let's start with this guy. This is an antler, it comes from a deer. A deer is kosher, but we can't quite use it for a chauffeur. Where would we blow it from? Should we try it from there? No, no, there, there, there. It wouldn't really work. And also, a chauffeur has to be hollow. You see, hollow means that it's empty on this side. This one here is totally solid. It can't work, doesn't work like that. It's gotta be hollow. So, the anther from the deer doesn't work. Let's pick up this, whoa, this one was big. This is from a bull. And bull is kosher, bull is a daddy cow. It's hollow, but this one's not gonna work. You know why? Because a daddy cow is called a bull, a baby cow is called a calf. And on Rosh Hashanah, when we get up there on Rosh Hashanah, we say, Hashem, give us a great new year. We don't want to remind Hashem of the, of the calf, the golden calf. You see, the golden calf reminds Hashem of some of the things that weren't so good in our history. And can you imagine like you went to your parents and said, you know, I haven't been behaving at all and I haven't been doing what I want. My room is a mess and I have just been all in trouble. And what do you think? Get all the candy you want? Whoops, my thing is going a little nuts here. Sorry. Okay. I'm back with you. Okay, sorry about that. So, when we get up there Rosh Hashanah and say, Hashem, give us a great new year, we don't want to remind Hashem of the golden calf. So this one is out. Even though it's kosher and it's hollow, it's empty. Hey, check that out. Right in there. Yep, doesn't work. But just like we won't want to remind Hashem of the bad things, we want to remind Hashem of the good things. Well, and that's why very often we use the chauffeur from a ram. This is from a ram. Hey, if you look behind me, you see my best buddy here? This is my friend, Ron the Ram. Everybody say, hi, Ron the Ram. Ron the Ram's got two chauffeurs. He's got just like this. This comes from there, just like that. And we like to use the ram's horn because it reminds Hashem of the story of Yitzchak. And when he went, Kedat uh, Yitzchak, and that reminds Hashem of something good. And you get up there and Rosh Hashanah and say, Hashem, give us a great new year in, our, in honor of Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov. We have a better chance of getting our good year. That's what it looked like to use that one. This is what it looks like when it's done. Now, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor. Everybody got in their box, got a chauffeur. I want you to take your chauffeurs for just a minute. Everybody, do you have your chauffeurs? Okay, grab your chauffeurs, because we're going to try out the different sounds a chauffeur makes. The first one's called tekia. Let's say that together. Say tekia. Good job. Let's say, there we go. Now, tekia is one plain sound. So take your chauffeur. Let's try this out. You ready? You guys did it? Good job. Now, the next one's called Shivarim. Let's try that together. Say it, say it with me again. Shivarim. Shivarim are three medium sounds, kind of like this. And the next one's called Terua. Terua are nine little incy beansy sounds. So, you ready? Who wants to try out a Terua? Do you guys think you can blow a Terua sound? Here we go. Let's try it out. You got your chauffeurs? Let's try it. I think that was a little more than nine, but that will do. Okay, so we got the chauffeur from a ram. It says that you're supposed to blow a big chauffeur. The question is, what does that mean? Some people say, when it says you're supposed to blow a big chauffeur, you're supposed to blow a big chauffeur. This one comes from an animal called a kudu. This is what it looks like before you make it into a chauffeur. And this is what it looks like after you make it into a chauffeur. Nice and shiny and smooth, right? This one's all rough and bumpy. This one is nice and smooth. Well, when it says you're supposed to blow a big chauffeur, some people say it means a big chauffeur, but some people means, say it means a big chauffeur sound. 
And that's why we have the Tekia Gidola. That's a tough word. Let's try it again. Tekia Gidola. Here it goes. You ready? <laughs> How did I do? Well, you'll get a lot of practice, and I bet you'll, be a, you'll do a good tequila gadola. That's a tongue twister. Tequila gadola sure, soon enough. Okay. Now, chauffeurs come big, but chauffeurs also come small. You guys want to see my favorite chauffeur? Check this out. This is actually the smallest a chauffeur could be. It can't be smaller than what's known as a tefach. Size of your fist. This is the smallest a chauffeur could be. And not only does it look like a baby chauffeur, it also sounds like a baby chauffeur too. Ready? Here we go. Listen carefully. It does, right? Yep. Let's try it one more time. Well, there you have that. Chauffeurs can't could come small, but not too small. Just like that, it's as small as a chauffeur could be. Got one more chauffeur I wanna show you before you get to work. Check this one out. This one comes from a kosher animal. It's hollow on this side, but we cannot use it for a chauffeur. You know why? It's too straight. Chauffeur's gotta be twisty. It can be maybe like a baseball bat, you ready? But not a chauffeur. Let's put that on the side over here. And today, the chauffeur we're making today comes from a goat. The ones you got in your packages, those come from a goat. But before, you, before it got to the stage where you have it at, it looked like this a little bit, and it had this stuff inside here. This is called cartilage. Cartilage is important because that's what keeps it on the animal's head. Without the cartilage, it would just go, bloop, fall right off. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. So we need the cartilage but not when we want to try to blow the chauffeur. So we take the cartilage out. That's a process in its own right. We have to boil it and do it and heat it up till we get it out. And then we have it hollow on that side. I'm not sure you can see that good there. Lighting's interesting here. There we go. So we have the hollow on that side, but there's no hole on this side. And this is where the work comes in. We take a special tool. Put this one back here. We're gonna use this one right here. So, you put so you get special tools called the wire hanger. We put it all the way inside till the end, and then we put that on the outside, just like that. And now we know exactly where the bottom of the hole is, right there. I'm gonna cut it, and let's get to work. Now, I bet you guys know some Rosh Hashanah songs. Okay. Let's put this here. Kind of want to fit, turn it here a little bit. Great. Let's do this. I sang it before, but my all time favorite song is the dip the apple in the honey, right? So we're going to try that out actually while I'm cutting the chauffeur. We're going to try this out. Here we go. I want you, to, you guys to sing along with me this time. Can you sing along with me? I want to hear you guys. Dip the apple in the honey. Make the bracha loud and clear. Lishana tova to mitzuta. Have a happy sweet new year. Dip the apple in the honey. Make the bracha loud and clear. Ooh, almost there. Lishana tova to mitzuta. Got it. Oh, that was hard work. Have a happy, sweet new year. So I cut the end off, but we don't have a hole yet. We want to put a hole right in the chauffeur. So to do that, I have my drills. This one has a plain drill bit on it. Honey, you want to come a little closer over here, please, so you can see? And face it down just a little bit. Down, 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 down. Put the thing out. You put the stand down. Uh, okay. Here we go. 
take this, use this to make a hole in it. Now, it's got a hole in the shofar. Let's turn it around so you can see. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a hole in the shofar, but it's a nice skinny hole. Skinny hole is not going to work for what we need. So that's why we have this other drill bit that has like a cone, on, cone shape on it. This is gonna help us make the mouthpiece. Okay. There we go. Let's put this back over this way, clean out the mouthpiece. And let's open this up and see how we did. Let's see how we did on this shofar. Shofar, so good, right? I'm gonna clean it up on this uh, sander here. I'm actually going to mute myself for just a moment because this is going to be pretty loud on us. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Thank you. That was just a little bit of noise. Now, this is where your chauffeur should be up to, just like this. Working condition, but not ready yet. So what we're going to do next is we're going to sand it and then shellac it to make it nice and shiny. Before we do that, before we do that, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to take your chauffeur, because once we shellac it, we can't really use it till it's dry. So everybody pick up your chauffeurs, and now is your chance to test them out. Are you ready? Let's test out this one. Here it goes. Ooh, look, working pretty good. Do you guys want to try it out? Rachel, do you want to unmute anybody? If anyone wants to try out blowing their chauffeur, raise your hand. I'm going to call on you. I see David. Do you want to try out your chauffeur? I see you holding your chauffeur. David, oh, do you want to unmute yourself and try to blow the chauffeur for everyone? Yeah. Good try. Nice job. Awesome. Anybody Anybody else else? Want to try it out? Let's see, I'm just looking through. Anyone want to give it a try? Uh, El Yahoo, you want to unmute yourself? Wait, we can't hear you, El Yahoo. Just un make sure to unmute yourself. There we go. Good job. I hear it. Manny, you want to try? Dina, you're. Uh some mention that they that their dad blows the chauffeur. Oh, Dina Sheva, that's awesome. My dad also blows the chauffeur. My dad also blows the chauffeur. <laughs> Manny, yeah. did you give it a try? Uh, awesome. Okay. Now, everybody should have gotten in their package. You should have gotten the shofar, but with that, you should have gotten a piece of sandpaper. Do you have your sandpaper? Now, I'm going to need you to get to work here a little bit because it may work 
but it, you need to make it nice and smooth. So take a piece of sandpaper and start working on that chopper to make it smooth. Okay, can you try that out? See, it's getting there a little bit. How's that looking? Getting a little better. I want you guys to try that out. Take the chauffeur you got and the sandpaper and start working on that chauffeur. Make it nice and smooth. There. How are we doing? Rachel, do you see anybody that's uh, sanding their chauffeur nice? Sorry, I was on mute. Oh, Tova, you want to show us your chauffeur? I'm going to unmute you. Awesome job. Let's see who else. Ben is doing it, I see. And Esther. And Khani Herman. <laughs> and I see Malki is doing hers. This is awesome, guys. Get those shoulders nice and smooth. I see Joey's doing his. Joey, can you show us your chauffeur? Whoa, that's awesome. Mayor, I like that. Good job. Elias. Keep it up. Mayor, wow, this is amazing. Sophia, David. Every now and then when you want to get the dust off, you just give it a little blow, just like that. See that spot there. We'll give it another minute of, of sanding, okay? Okay. So if you guys want to keep sanding, you could, but those people that are up to the next step, here's what we're going to do next. In your package, you should have gotten one of these. Just like this. Let me just give me a second here. Uh, so you should have gotten one of these. This is a brush inside a little bag. Oh, that's the camera there. A brush inside a little bag. What you want to do is we're going to try to cut the bag open. It has a piece of tape on there. So you just want to take off that piece of tape. And inside, the brush already has the shellac all good to go. So this is water-based. You don't have to worry about it. It washes off. So it's fine. Now just what you do is just take that brush and just make, start making that chauffeur shiny. Do you see how, how shiny that chauffeur is getting there? Look at that. Wow. Check out how shiny that chauffeur is getting. Let's see you guys do this. So take the brush, start making your chauffeur nice and shiny all over, all around. Look at that. Whoa, check out your chauffeurs. Rachel, how are we doing on the chauffeurs? Any chauffeurs getting shiny? I see a bunch of people working on them. Some people are still sanding. Okay, you can keep sanding. You can save this, this part for later if you want. If you want to keep sanding, that's totally fine. You can keep sanding for now and then, and then you can do the, and then do the shellac later. And when you, what you want to do is afterwards, put on a piece of paper, put on a piece of paper or on a plastic plate or something, plastic, you know, plate or something for it to dry. It should dry to touch pretty fast. You should be able to touch it. You know, it shouldn't be sticky anymore after just a few minutes, but I would not blow it until it's totally dry. Maybe like wait overnight till you actually blow with the chauffeur because you don't want to get the shellac all over your mouth. That wouldn't be a good idea. Now, on Rosh Hashanah, it's really important. I know, of course, this year, going to shul and stuff is going to be very hard. But hearing the shofar, wherever you do it, some people are going to be hearing it in the park. Some people are going to hear it other places. Some people outside shul, wherever it may be. It's so important to go hear the shofar. It's a special mitzvah. This year, we, of course, we can't hear it on the first day of Rosh Hashanah because the first day of Rosh Hashanah is Shabbos. But the second day of Rosh Hashanah, you want to go hear the shofar. And yeah. You guys did an awesome job. Look at that. Look how shiny, look how shiny that is. Do you see that? That is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And I bet you, I bet your chauffeur is just as shiny. Who's done with their, making their chauffeur shiny? You can pick it up so we can see it. 
If you're done with your chauffeur, hold it up and we're going to take a picture also in a minute. Oh, so we can weird. get a picture of everybody holding their chauffeur. I see a lot of people still working on it. Oh, don't worry. You can keep working on it. No rush on this one. Joey, awesome chauffeur. Yeah. I see you finished painting it. So shiny. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it should be, it should, it should be, you know, pretty dry that it shouldn't be sticky even after just a few minutes, one or two minutes, three minutes. But I, like I said, I wouldn't blow on the chauffeur till to maybe even tomorrow. You really want to wait and let it dry fully, okay? And look at that, chauffeur, right? You guys are awesome. This was so special. How are we doing? Let's see how we, let's see how we're doing here. Get the gallery view. Ooh, let me see your oh, chauffeurs. Kana. I like that. I like yours, Kana. Ooh, nice yeah. chauffeur, Jenny. Oh, Michal, nice chauffeur. You have a question, Michal? I'm going to unmute you. Uh, Rachel, can, where should I put this to dry? That's a question for Robbie Grossbaum. So it can really be anywhere. It should, it, it should be dry to touch in just a few minutes. But I, you can even take it, put it on like a plastic, you know, on paper. Can I put it on the box I got, Rachel? Sure, you can put it on the box. Yeah, that works. Or if you have like a, uh, you know, just I'm paper. use the box, but I'm not using it anymore. Great that idea. Works. That's why we sent it in a box. <laughs> oh, yeah, and tomorrow we have holiday, right, Rachel? That is a great point, Michal, and this is a perfect opportunity for me to remind everybody that tomorrow night is the family challah bake with Naomi TJS, the recipe you got in your box, and if you don't have it or if you want a digital copy, it's on yacha.org slash challah, and it's tomorrow night at 8 o'clock also. What's Wednesday night? Thanks for asking, Michal. That's a perfect segue for me to remind you that on Wednesday night, we have an amazing learning and activities program with Dovi Levinson, who most of you know, um, and he's going to be helping us prepare our table for Rosh Hashanah, different things to discuss, different ideas of Teshuvah, Tefillah, and Tzedakah, um, and we're going to use the packet that also came in the box. So thank you so much for asking. Thank you, Rachel. All right. Who's ready for a picture? Okay, if you're ready for a picture, hold up your chauffeur to the screen. And we're gonna take a picture. So get ready. Make sure you have a big smile. <laughs> Press down this one. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hold up your chauffeur. <laughs> nice job, everyone. Awesome. This was great. You guys are awesome. This was so special. We've got our chauffeurs and we're, are, we are ready to go. So don't forget on Rosh Hashanah, wherever it may be, got to hear the chauffeur, okay? Have a Shana Tova. Ksiva Chasima Tova. Should be a happy and healthy and wonderful new year. Only good things this year, right? Thank you so much, Rory Grossbaum, and thank you, everyone, for coming. Shana Tova, everyone, and we hope to see you tomorrow night and Wednesday night at 8 o'clock for our other Zooms. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. Good night.